the fucking lady. There's a woman out there. Um, she fucking was married to a guy who was a billionaire. She's getting a divorce. The guy wrote her a check just under a billion dollars, and she turned it down. Now, I know what a lot of people are thinking. What a fucking gold-digging whore. This is right up Bill's alley. I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to tweet a fucking link to this article, and this will get him going on the podcast, and then he'll have a shit fit, and I'll laugh as I'm sitting in my cubicle. Well, surprise, surprise. I'm not really having a shit fit about this because I don't think it's about the money. This is the deal. This broad... All right, this fucking twinkle toes here. All right, all little fucking sugar tits here. She married this guy. This guy was worth 50 million bucks. He was an oil man. Get off my fucking property. There ain't no global warming. Good. I like that there's a hole in the ozone layer. Makes me feel like I'm closer to God. All right? He's an oil man. Hey, I'll tell you what, Mr. President... I don't even know why I have to call you, Mr. President. I fucking put you in office with my goddamn money. Look at me when I'm talking to you, Obama. All right? My granddaddy put that dictator in fucking power. And he was supposed to give us our little gold little shit there, right? He's supposed to give us our liquid gold, right? He ain't doing it no more. You got to go over there. You got to take that fucker out. You understand me? I don't give a fuck how you do it. He's an oil man. It's a fucking oil man. All right, he's got Slim Whitman on laser disc. Right? That's Irish. What was the fucking Slim Whitman? He sold over 9 million records. Um, anyways, I'm all over the fucking map here. See, I'm back to me. I'm not looking at the TV anymore. Um, so this fucking guy, he's got, he's got a $50 million business. This, he already has this, and this woman does not sign a fucking... He doesn't sign a prenup with the woman. According to her, she didn't take the billion-dollar payout because now 26, 27, 28 fucking years later, they're going for a divorce. This guy's company is worth $20 billion, according to her. All right? Now, here's the thing. She's like, I was with this guy, and I supported him, and I held down the fucking home front and all that. That's got to be worth something. This was fucking crazy to me. It's like, you know, with all due respect, sweetheart... This guy made fifty million without you. Okay. Look, I could see if the guy had a couple hundred grand in the bank. All right, maybe. All right, whatever. You know what I mean? If you make fifty million dollars, give me a fucking break. If you started out with nothing and you're worth fifty million dollars, you fucking you know what you're doing. At that point, once you have fifty million dollars, that's that's when that's when you got your own. You're starting to have your own plane. You're in a gated community. You got your own security system. You know, you fucking kill somebody and the cops go down to your house and they're talking to your lawyer in the driveway as you're sitting there eating fucking escargot and an English muffin. And they're asking your fucking lawyer if you if you wouldn't mind turning yourself in over the next six, seven days. You're like that level fucking rich. And once you're that level rich, it's, it's all fucking downhill. You're meeting the people that are running the world. You're meeting the people in the Bilderberg group. You're meeting the people in the other groups that I don't know about or what the fuck they talk about, but I pretend like I do. You're at that level of fucking wealth. All right? So this fucking guy grows it to $20 billion, and she gets a check for a billion, basically. And uh, she says she doesn't want it. She wants more. So everybody's saying that she's a gold-digging whore. You know what I really think it is? And she's saying that she supported him and helped him build. It's like, go fuck yourself. All right. Let's let's just say for whatever fucking reason, I met an unknown Lady Gaga in the East Village 10, 12 fucking years ago. Right. And she's down there ripping off Madonna songs or whatever. And I'm like, you know what? There's something about her, though. You know, she's got nice legs. She's got a nice ass. I mean, I like the imperfections. I like the giant nose. Look at me. I got red fucking hair. It's falling out. I think we can make a good couple. You know? We're both a mess. Two negatives make a positive. We'll make a beautiful baby. So I start fucking hanging out with her. Next thing you know, we fall in love. Garrett Blunt! Go, motherfucker! Um, so then we think, uh, all right. You know, we get married. Okay? And let's just say what I, whatever I'm doing. I'm fucking... I make keys. That's what I do. That's my job. Okay? And she's out down there. She's down the village and she's fucking, you know, she's making her own meat dress. You know? 
She's going out. She's making money in a coffee house, and she goes right to the deli, and she buys more meat. She's investing in herself. She's building her career. She's playing the fucking piano. She's coming home, and she's like, what do you think of this? And I'm like, it sounds good, honey. Right? I'm over there. I'm knitting a fucking sweater. You know, I got a pot roast in the goddamn oven or whatever. Okay, and then she becomes Lady Gaga. I get to quit my fucking job. I'm Mr. Gaga. I get to go on Oprah and sit there silently, you know, as Oprah talks to Lady for fucking an hour. And then finally she says, well, what, what do you see at her? And then I already have some pre-written speech about how I'm Gaga about Gaga. I'm Gaga for Gaga, whatever the fuck happens, right? And let's just say in the end of all of that, I'm walking down the fucking hall blinded by her gold records, platinum records and all that shit. Every morning when I go to brush my teeth, I got to fucking I got to put on my uh, my amber visions just to get there. So I don't fucking walk into the walk in closet instead of the bathroom. Let's say at the end of that, she gets sick of me and she kicks me to the fucking curb. All right. And let's say she's worth one hundred million dollars and she turns around and says, I'm going to give you, Bill, I'm going to write you a check. Let's do the same thing. Let's say 20 billion. Just say she's worth 20 million. And she says, Bill, I'm going to give you a million dollars. And you know what I'm going to say? I want to say thank you, Lady Gaga. It was awesome. I, enjoy, I was just making keys. I wasn't going to make a million dollars in my lifetime. All right. I'm going to take this money. And uh, I'm going to pay my taxes on it. I'm going to get myself a little fucking house, you know, and I'm going to make keys in the back of it. I'm going to get my life back and I'm going to find I God knows you gave me plenty of fuck. And I would buy, you know what I would do with that? I would go buy a fuck. Everybody needs keys. Touchdown Patriots. Who the fuck was that? Who just scored that? Nate Solder just scored his, his first touchdown ever. Nice. 23-7. Oh, did we match up better against the Packers? So anyway, oh look at our look at two cheaters talking there <laughs> on the sidelines. Two convicted cheaters. That was a nice play. That was a nice play. How did you like the video? I love the video. Um, anyways, you gotta have a sense of humor about your own fucking team, don't you? Most people don't, but I do. Um, anyways, so let's go back here. Uh. Yeah, if she gave me a million bucks, what I would do is I would find a house that cost like, I don't know, like 150 grand, you know, and I would put down a ridiculous amount of money on it. And then I put the rest of the money away and I would start cutting keys again out of the back of my house. And I get that business going and I would fucking build it up. And then I go on to, uh, Instead of FarmersOnly.com, I'd go on like uh, KeymakersOnly.com and I'd try to meet somebody else. That's what the fuck I would do. I would never try to take her money. I'd be like, you know what? I know I gave you support. I know I said that was a beautiful song. I know you wrote a couple songs about us. Instead of Dear Ben, you wrote Dear Bill. I get it. But I can't sing. I can't play a fucking piano. Who's kidding who? We both know why I lived the life I lived for the last 10 years. It was because of you, Lady Gaga. And to think I got to live that life and in the end of it, you're going to give me a million bucks to leave? Yeah, you're a fucking saint. I still love you, Lady Gaga, even though you don't love me anymore. I get it. I don't even know why you love me in the first place, but God bless you. That's probably why you write such wonderful songs. That connects with an entire demographic of people. Continued success. Thank you for that million dollars. And I would fucking leave. All right. I got too much fucking pride to sit there if somebody doesn't fucking want me to then try to take everything they got. I mean, just I, I couldn't fuck. I, the second somebody doesn't want me around, I'm like, all right, Jesus, I didn't know I was annoying you. I get it. Sorry. Can I uh, grab my things now? Do you want to want me to send somebody else? I, I would just get the fuck out of there. Um, so anyway, so that seems to be, you know, this lady here that she she got a billion dollars um, and she says it's not enough. What I honestly think it is, I just think it's an emotional thing for this woman. I don't think it's a money thing because you can't spend that. You can't spend all that fucking money. Right. 
did you guys, they actually showed a copy of the, uh, of the check that this dude wrote to his ex-wife. He didn't write it on one of those business checks, you know, that are sort of extra long and the whole extra area, the memo section that you write stuff. He wrote it on like a personal little check, like the same kind of check, like, you know, somebody living week to week, the, one of those little checkbooks. He wrote a check for like $989,899,031, whatever the fuck it was. And I think what he did was, this guy's obvious, I don't know what the fuck, maybe he's just good at business. I think he just sat down after they decided on the number, and I bet he did it right in front of her. After 26 fucking years, okay, he's walking away. He's leaving, and he just sits down, and he's just writing money just to make her leave. And he just sits down and goes, scribble, scribble, scribble. Sign, 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 dot the I, cross the fucking T, tears it out. Here you go. Beat it, lady. I just think it came across like that, and it fucking pisses her off. <laughs> and she's just like, this is the thing, uh, the worst thing you can have when a woman's breaking up with you, or if you're breaking up with a woman, is if she's not over you. If she's over you, it's going to go smoothly. You don't have to deal with her fucking, you know, putting a, your, your pet rabbit in a goddamn stew. All right? But if they're not over you, you got to fucking let them down easy. You can't just push them down the emotional elevator shaft. All right, you're going to have a major fucking problem. And I think this guy, he just fucking fired off the check like he was paying another bill. And I, she just was insulted by that. And she's think doing the math in her head like, you know, this motherfucker is going to. I actually talked a little bit about this on the Chris Layton podcast. So I forgive me if there's a little bit of overlap, but I just wanted to hear what he thought about it. Um, I think that. Uh, I, I don't know. I just think that they, they want you. They want you to hurt. They just want you to hurt. I don't know what it is. Not all of them, just some of them. And I think that she didn't get a satis enough of a satisfied hurt look on this guy's face. There wasn't enough pain. I think he just treated her like he had to get the gutters fixed and had some professional come over and did it. And he just fired off this fucking check and it just pissed her off. You know, because she's more than taken care of for the rest of her fucking life. Anything she could ever want, she's, it's all good. But I think the fact that he still has so much more money and it didn't hurt him to write that check. That, and she knows that he has enough money to get like, you know, I mean, you got $20 billion. There's like a Victoria's Secret model that will pretend to give a fuck about you for a good year, year and a half. And you can do that for the rest of your life as you ride around in Ferraris. Now, her, she's a woman. Guys don't work that way. We don't really give a shit about money. You know, we're more like enamored by looks. You know, it's both of our fucking weaknesses, whatever. You guys are into stuff. We're into fucking, uh, you know, tits and ass. So, which is why, you know, we will date somebody as dumb as a fucking rock. And you will also date some ugly old balding douche, you know. Because they can take care of you. It's, it's kind of what we do. So I'm not really... A lot of people wanted me to go off on her like she's a gold-digging whore. I don't think she is. I think she's... Uh, I think she's hurt. And uh, she's hurt how easy this guy is just getting over. I know all you guys are sitting there going like, Dude, what the fuck? He's writing her a check for a billion dollars. I know that hurts. Dude, you got $20 billion. Come on, man. If that's true. If it's true and you got $20 billion, <laughs> yeah, I'll write you a fucking check for a, for a bill. That wouldn't hurt me at all. There you go. Bing, bang, boom. Beat it. Whistle and Dixie. Jesus Christ, the fucking interest alone on that money. You, you, by the time you walk down the driveway, or she walks down the driveway leaving you, your money is probably already made fucking $30 million. The fuck do you care? Um, I know he's probably, that's obviously not $20 billion liquid. He's got a lot of that tied up in Derrick's, right? Some giant fucking ranches, some oil rags, some trucks.